All right, so this is just going to be a super quick short video of this Dell Latitude 3330. Um, so we're going to be upgrading the hard drive to an SSD. All right. So the battery, um, you don't need to remove this if you're upgrading the hard drive to an SSD, um, but we're just going to remove it anyways. All right, pull these two tabs to the side. They are spring loaded. It looks like this one stays, um, actually, are they spring loaded? Okay, so yeah, they are spring loaded and when you pull it, it pops out on its own. So it's like that, you pull it out, it pops the battery up and then you can take this out. Battery model, if you need it, is right here, right? 268X5, all right? So if you need to replace the battery, that's the model information, all right? So we're gonna close that back up. Um, we're gonna use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver, I believe, okay? And we're gonna just undo this screw here. Am I using? All right, let me double check. Okay, yeah, PH1 or JS1. Okay, and we're just gonna remove that. All right, once you undo the screw, it actually, the screw stays in place and you can get underneath here and you can just pop this up, okay? So it's actually held in with this little washer here. Hmm, it looks like there's actually an SSD in here. So maybe the customer doesn't actually need one, um, but they did say they wanted to upgrade to one terabyte, so we're gonna do that. All right, so anyways, you pull these two tabs to the side, the RAM pops up slightly, and then you can kind of wiggle and pull this back. And here you can see the RAM is four gigs PC3L 12800S. So they have two four gig sticks so for a total of eight gigs. Um, you can upgrade this to whatever you want as long as it's PC3 12800. All right, so usually any PC3 12800 should work. You can probably put two eight gig sticks and have 16 gigs total. All right, let me actually zoom in a bit on here since this is all that we need to focus on. All right, so here you see the hard drive and the RAM. Again, if you couldn't tell earlier, pull these two tabs to the side, it pops up, and then you can pull the RAM stick out, okay? I'm just gonna put it back in again one more time, click that into place. All right, now we're just gonna replace the hard drive using the PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. Remove that screw. There's a little tab here. We should be able to slide it back with that. All right, just like that. Once you do that, you can actually lift this out. So this bracket is just held in with two screws, one screw on this side and one screw on this side. We're gonna remove those two screws. So it looks like they actually have an SSD in here, um, but it was having issues reading. So we're replacing it. This is, what is this SSD? I don't even see a brand name on here. It's only a 128 gig SSD. So their storage capacity um, is actually gonna go up by almost 10 times the amount, all right? This SSD was made in 2013. It's really old, so it is time to upgrade, all right? Let's go ahead and put this new drive in. So just get that over in place. Okay, I usually like to um, put in the screws before I tighten them down. So I just loosely fit that screw. We'll get the second screw and tighten that into place. All right, now that we've got that screw tightened in, we're gonna get the second screw and tighten that. All right, very easy upgrade um, on this. If there was a hard drive, switching to an SSD will make a huge speed difference. Um, I don't know if this came with an SSD. It's, it's possible because this doesn't look like an aftermarket SSD. I don't see any brand information or anything on here. Um, oh, it's made by light on. So I, I don't really see those types of SSDs. So I don't know if that's um, a built-in one or came with it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this screw in. Um, it does look like there's other upgradable stuff. There's This is a wide area network port, I believe. Um, but it's not accessible from under the store. You'd have to take this whole panel off. Um, so that's pretty much all we're gonna open up. Uh, the customer just asked me to get it booting up again. So we're just gonna replace the drive, reinstall Windows, um, putting this back in, you get these sides in and then the middle stays up slightly. Then uh, we just tighten this back in. 
Um, but that's pretty much all there is to this. Uh, maybe I'll start the Windows installation process just so you can kind of see. Um, there is an old, uh, what do you call, um, Microsoft, Microsoft um, Windows 7 basic key there. So I don't know if it would come with an SSD if it came with a basic Windows uh, 7 basic OS. I don't know. Um, so they probably added that afterwards. Anyways, hopefully it will boot my USB. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. We're going to put the... Oops, let me zoom out a bit here. So we're putting my Windows USB installer in there. Power it up. Um, assuming, okay, I guess we need the charger. So let me get the charger and I'll be back. Um, it looks like the customer gave me a HP charger, 19.5 volt. I'm going to have to double check and see if that's okay to use. So let me check that real quick. Um, okay, so the Dell is also 19.5 volt, so it should be okay. We'll just plug it in, and yeah. Um, these older Dells didn't have as much of an issue with aftermarket or different chargers, but on newer models, they will complain and they won't even let you use the charger. So let's go ahead and see, because this is what the customer provided me with. This is what we'll use, okay? So... We'll get the charger and we'll just plug it in back here. Okay, and hopefully it will power up and everything will work. You see the charge or the power button light? Okay. So we're pressing F12 to open the boot menu. So hopefully we can see our Windows USB installer from here. Um, so we see USB storage device. We're going to go to the Uf UEFI. So it does have a UEFI boot. So the OS is new enough, or the BIOS is new enough that it should take Windows 10 no problem. It's loading the files as you can see. Um, so I think we should be good to go. Uh, I'm surprised such an old laptop is actually supporting the OS and everything, but looks like we should be good. All right, we'll let this load all the way. And then we'll go through the a little bit of the install but this is a very straightforward simple um, upgrade or repair you can actually create a um, USB to boot this uh, with any Windows I think you need a Windows 10 computer you might be able to do it with other Windows devices to create the Windows 10 USB installer um, it's showing some weird graphical stuff that happens a lot on older computers so we're going to go to next down here, install now, see the setup starting up. And then if it asks for the key, again, you can use the Windows 7 key. It should activate Windows 10. And then we'll just go through the rest of the automated process. So that's pretty much it. Here you see it's asking for the key. Um, I'll enter the key and then we'll push next and I'll just show you what happens. But uh, let me do that real quick, all right? I'm going to pause and I'll be back. All right, so I entered the key. I'm going to click next. I don't want to show what's actually there. I mean, I guess I can do this. Oh, now you're kind of seeing a little bit of it. And then we'll just press enter to go next. And it should eventually just go through. So let's wait for that. Okay, it's verifying the key, I guess, or trying to figure out if it's a legitimate key. As you can see, it takes a while after pressing the enter button, so hopefully it will work okay. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. Otherwise, I'm going to have to say I don't have a product key and activate it later, but come on. You know you want to. Right now, the mouse is just a um, sand. Was that hourglass? There you go. All right, so went through, space bar to accept the license terms, enter, custom install, you can see unallocated space, one terabyte, all right, or right now it's showing 931.5 gigs, press enter, and then it will begin the install process, and that's pretty much it, just follow the, everything, run Windows Update multiple times to get all the drivers, do all the optional updates, 
And that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.